My name is Kenneth Williams. I own my own business over at the Sears Mall, building pipe cleaner art. So I've been doing my own business for eight years now, and I enjoy doing it. I've been messing with pipe cleaner since I was a little kid, and I started since third grade. And I just found them pipe cleaners under them cabinets, and know I've been using them ever since. So I just want to mess around with them. So. I've known Kenny ever since he was um, probably around kindergarten. He started off with these really tiny little intricate things and from that he starts selling his figures and it's kind of grown. That's how he makes his income. Let me get you a bag for that. I've never seen anyone who can just take regular pipe cleaners. He doesn't even look at what he's doing most of the time. It's like he'll be talking to you and his hands will be just going and there isn't a cartoon character or a figure that I haven't seen him not be able to do. All kind of sorts of kind of characters from cereal boxes or even if it's from a movie, video games, or cartoons. It could be anime or it could be animals. It could be like objects that hasn't been made out of pipe cleaners ever since. So I'm just tired of seeing just stick figures all my life. It gives him something to concentrate on, and it makes him special in a, in a lot of ways because it's something that we can't do. And so when people meet him, they get caught up in his ability to create these figures versus any disability he may have. I'm not sure that everyone noticed that he has a disability because when he talks to you, he talks to you about his craft. I just did my stop motion. One is a 46 minute animation and a 36 animation. Doing a lot of camera angles, doing all the backgrounds and adding music acid programs on it. Doing editing, doing some storyboarding. I just love doing what I like to do. We must separate by twos. Satan, you go with Navarro. I saw the animation that he did when he was in school. And it's about, I guess it's a war between two groups. These pipe cleaner figures that actually fight, they actually talk. He has like things rolling in the back, like wind is blowing them. I mean, it had, to, it had to take tons of work to do frame by frame for each one of those characters and to put it together. It's just, you won't believe some of the things that he's made out of pipe cleaners. I think he needs more exposure. Being in Alaska, I think it's given him the opportunity to have a business like he does. But his next phase, I think, is to take his craft outside of Alaska. I really think he needs a good agent, someone that would know how to market him. I think he has the potential to go national and international, but he needs the right people to do that for him. I just really definitely want to see my stuff in museums. But it takes some time to trying to find your dream and it takes a lot of patience.